Thanks for talking to us, um, Yanko, and answering the questions from TennisTV.com's Facebook and Twitter fans. First question is from Nordeli Gomez. So two questions, really. What's your favourite food, and what's the favourite place that you haven't been to yet and you'd like to visit? Favourite food? It generally depends on the mood, but I would have to say Asian. And favourite place so that place I didn't visit yet? That you'd like to visit, yeah. Hmm. Uh, I would like to go to Thailand, one of these uh, uh, jungles that they have in like Asia, all these mystical rivers and this, uh, just for like seven days, you know, to go to a, maybe even to a temple or two, just to, you know, relax, no TV, no phone, no nothing, that's one of the places. And I'm planning to do that after I stop playing. Okay. Um, what's your favorite tournament and why? And that's a question from Matt Thompson. My favorite tournament? I th uh, I would have to say Miami. I love Miami during the winter time because the weather is perfect. The tournament is really well organized and uh, I love the venue. I love to play here. I play always well, which helps with the overall experience. I have a lot of friends in this city, so my vote goes from Miami. Okay. Question from Mustafa Jamal. Um, if you were not a tennis player, what would you be? I would be a DJ. House music. Explain more. Why is that why? It's probably my biggest hobby. Uh, I love to spend time uh, buying and downloading music from internet. And whenever I have a chance, when I'm back home, I intend to DJ in some of the clubs. Excellent. Um, question from Georgina Gottel. Um, how did it feel to win the Davis Cup and did that kind of give you a bit of extra motivation for this season? It was uh, one of the best, if not the best, feelings of my professional career. It certainly gave me a motivation to practice even harder because that week can end like a fairy tale, like so beautifully, and then if you were in the situation of the French players, I'm sure that for the, at least for the next couple of days they, they really were not up to practice and, and stuff like that. Especially because straight after Davis Cup I went to Kenya to do my preseason and I could just imagine what would happen if we lost the tie for sure for the first five, six days. I, I wouldn't really feel like practicing. Sure. A uh, question from David Cryer. Um, do you listen to any particular music to help you prepare for tennis matches? Uh, I don't have a ritual. Sometimes I, I play some house tunes before the match just to pump me up, but generally I don't have like a, like a ritual to, that I have to listen to something before I go on court. Are there any favourites you kind of like to get going to? Any favourite... Uh, Types of music to get you going? House music, that's, 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 it's not, I'm not uh, one of the guys who just says that's the only thing I like. I, I like hip-hop, I like rap, and I love music generally, but if I have to pick one, that would be my favorite. Sure. Question from Scott Elliott. Um, what do you think it's going to take to bring your game up to the next level and, and maybe one day break into the top ten? I would say consistency. I feel that if I play well, that I can win against almost anybody, but the problem is that the biggest problem is the consistency. I am on a good way this year. I haven't been injured since the end of last year, and if I continue playing like this, uh, progress is the only thing that I'm looking at. Sure. A uh, question from Nicola Jones. Which person, dead or alive, would you most like to you know, meet, if that was possible? I would love to meet Friedrich Nietzsche. Why? He is my uh, favorite writer, and uh, I would love to. I would generally like to ask him what provoked him, if I may say so, to write the stuff that he wrote in his books. Okay. Um, this is another question similar. Um, is it true that you're interested in philosophy? And if so, who are your favorite philosophers and why? Got that question from Gary Fleet. My favorite philosophers, even though they are pretty negative and nihilistic would be Friedrich Nietzsche and Arthur Schopenhauer. I even have a 
tattoo on my back from one of the guys and uh, I don't feel that I am like deep or smart or whatever because I love to read these books it's just uh, a hobby which I which I, I like to do but if I have to pick two these two guys would be my favorite okay thanks Ian for talking to us and taking the questions from tennistv.com's Facebook and Twitter fans cheers thanks. Thank you.